do this any justice. There's those tire tracks right there. Don't even know how deep that is. Case the crap out of it and went across there. Bunny hop it. <laughs> Scott, we gotta clean the, we gotta clean it off once you get it out of there. The threads are all gummed up with air filter oil. Doing a little bike maintenance. Right, Bryce? Yeah. Gotta go get our tire. Yeah. Should be straight. Here, spin it. I just gotta torque them down a little bit more. I might have to work on that. Yeah, He's a little wobbly. Okay. Just set that right back here. Pull that out. Here. Put this other one on. Pull it out there. Oh, don't get on your shirt. <laughs> don't set it on your bike either. You got that out of there yet? All right, hang on, I'll get. What? Yep. We don't even have to put it Huh? It's you line this little pokey thing up with that hole. There you go. Don't touch your shirt. What I did to my grip donut where I was. Uh, you have to spin them a little. There you go. I know, but I grip so tight right here. Yeah. You gotta loosen up your grip a little bit. Should be gripping that tight. I'll just trade sides. I'll put this one over okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I'll get that little thing through there. There you go. You know how to do that? <laughs> Why not? You're going to have to start working on stuff. Okay. See this little line? Yeah. That goes at the top right there. Yep. There you go. Now don't, don't unfold it. I have to do a double checky check on that. You no, know, especially the way he is on bikes, he really makes it like that. Like here, you messed it up. Yeah. All right, I'll finish it up. Right. Well, look who finally decided to show up at the track today. We're Wakey. talking to Cody. Finally Boy, got him to wake up. Getting this sand tire off. Putting a freshy Michelin on. That's solid. Then maybe they're in the top. They're in the top? No, yeah, bring it. You're beat up. Look at his knee. Why? What happened? He crashed big time. You haven't even raced him. Look yeah, how fat that knee is. Sometimes you gotta make it hard for him. At least make him work for it. <laughs> yeah. Permission. Oh, Stan, I need to come in with you. Okay, yeah, you can. You Kitten. On the adult strider. I think that's a little bit too small frame for you. I know, it is. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm all for having somebody blocking my door in. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, he's tight. I'm gonna park right next to him. Yep. Hi, Jeff. What's oh up? yeah, you better. How, you? How was the pizza? It was good. Chevy only. I'm no, upset that's with why you they guys. own a Cadillac. I know. Like, I'll get a bus. I know. Like, nope, Where's Bryce? I'm gonna do some crap. He's mad because I threw him under the bus. Oh. Yeah. Really? What'd you yep. do? I knew that getting going. Yep. I it did. did. Well, looks like the bikes are all still here, and we had some more friends join us. But a buddy from Pennsylvania's bike is still there. And, but it's currently 6 a.m. And we're getting ready to roll out to the track. So obviously, it's daylight, or not so obviously, so but uh, it just happened this weekend was daylight savings time. So pretty dark still. Uh, sunrise is supposed to be at 741. Uh, looking like it'll probably be. Here comes Robert. 
Robert escorting uh, the little ones over to Tech this morning. But uh, starting to brighten up. Uh, we got all the bikes out. We're all set up. Um, and we're ready to go. Um, and it'll probably be, well, obviously it's going to be daylight enough to get the race started. But um, got in here, got a good spot. Kind of right next to Pro Pitch. We kind of dove scoped it out yesterday kind of was going to see if any of the quad guys were going to leave and kind of had a plan to drive through and make a lap and see if anything came available and we saw this little patch of grass here so we all just snuck in here and as soon as the race is over we are out of here so um getting gear on and we're getting ready to head down to the line Cooper? My name's Alright. It is your responsibility to keep yourself and your children a safe distance from the race course. Never turn your back on oncoming racers and remember. Here are the Specialized General GNCC. <laughs> So here we go on the start. Um, getting ready to go, not the greatest position. Bryce wanted to go kind of outside. And kind of see here, his bike didn't go right away. Um, made up a little ground, but then you see a couple of guys tangle and then he gets pushed wide and not a very good start. Here's Jeff's angle. Van was all right, but still a couple kids came together and uh, they didn't have a good start at all. Uh, 85 senior class with uh, our buddy Brody Amos. I think he was second or third around that first turn. And then here's Cooper start. Him and Deegan both uh, a couple bikes apart. Deegan got a good jump out of there going in to the first turn. And then uh, Jeff's footage of them coming down in the first turn. You can see Deegan right there in third. And uh, Cooper's kind of buried there in the pack a little bit. Uh, coming through, this is Jeff's footage. The leader's coming through on the first lap. Uh, and here comes Van. He uh, actually checked in at about 15th on the first lap. Bryce still trying to get back. I think he was 30th uh, when he came through on the first lap. Here comes Deegan. And uh, Cooper coming through. Cooper uh, opted for no hand guards this race. I think he's probably the only one out there with no hand guards. Comes Van on the second lap. I think he'd even made his way up to seventh by this time. Good. Uh, Bryce just kind of buried in traffic trying to make his way through. I think it showed him in 21st on the second lap. Here comes Deegan. He'd obviously had a rough couple first laps already missing his front fender, but still trucking along. Uh, and then this poor kid definitely hit something. Been up front there. 
the van's coming through. Second or third lap here, I'm not real sure. Uh, same thing, I think there's some jet footage now. Van coming through, finding a nice inside line here. Cooper tooling along, and here comes Deegan still making laps without his front fender. Bryce coming through, he's kind of shaking his head at me because his bike at this point was starting to uh, clog up. Um, Griffin Coleman. Uh, Jacob Volan, another Indiana kid. And uh, Charlie coming through. Here comes Bryce. His bike was running all right as long as he kept it uh, up in the RPMs, but pretty much he had no bottom end the entire race. Uh, found out later. Well, the power valve hose popped off and it was just getting a bunch of dirt down in the power valve, which clogged it open. Uh, and he pretty much had no bottom end. He kind of knew that the power valve wasn't working and uh, was trying to tell me that he could tell that the power valve wasn't working. So, had 30 minutes to go at that point. We just kind of had to salvage the race. But Van at this point was up into third. I think Bryce was 24th, 25th, 23rd, somewhere around in there. Cooper still cruising along without his hand guards. I believe that was AJ Hall, uh, Sam Klein, another couple Indiana kids. Another shot of Sam Klein right there. Here comes Cooper coming down to this little creek crossing here. Uh, he ended up looping his bike out right here on the last lap, and I had to go up and help him out. But right here, he didn't really pick a good line, but I kind of let him figure it out. But he made it. Did a pretty good job. Bryce coming through, which I think is going to be his last lap here. That's the line that Cooper should have taken. This is Van, that's probably about a half a mile from the finish line, just down from the motocross track. Charlie Holland again. Here comes Deegan, it's only his second GNCC run in an hour and a half. Here comes Cooper, he's super tired at this point. Uh, I don't think this was the last lap, but he was out there for a while. Brody Amos making his way around. I, think, I believe he got third on the day, an 85 senior. And then unfortunately right here, this is where Van, uh, I believe the kid in the white jersey is the one that was in fourth at the time. And he went outside and just snuck by Van and that was. Overall, the last race uh, of our trip down south was um, not what we'd hoped for, but we're still learning, had some unfortunate mechanical issues there with Bryce's bike. Uh, what happened later, um, I'm shooting this later in the week, obviously, um, but tore his bike down and noticed that the vent tube on the power valve uh, cavity on the front of those KX100s, there's a little metal cap that slides down in there in a vent tube, and that cap had popped off and basically was letting sand, dirt, water, whatever, get down inside the power valve. And eventually it just clogged it. Luckily it clogged it open. So we had top end, but he just basically had no bottom end, out of corners, trying to climb hills, just having to clutch the bike up a lot. It wasn't running 
quite right. So got the power valve all cleaned out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw another piston in it, get his bike all ready to go. Uh, thankfully, nothing uh, was wrong with the cylinder there. But uh, Bryce bounced back and forth all day, ended up 23rd. I think he was up to 20th at one point and came through way back on the first lap. And uh, Cooper, same, he had his struggles throughout the day, but uh, uh, poor guy, I think he uh, was one of the last bikes on the track uh, coming off. Uh, he came through the finish line just before the leaders came through and got the checkers, so he had to do a whole nother lap. He was out there for a while. I think he was almost out there. I know he was out there for an hour and 50 minutes at least, and uh, these locals, he's used to racing 30 minutes, so... Uh, his tongue was dragging a little bit and then uh, Deegan Cooper and Deegan kind of went back and forth Deegan just had a lot of crashes and uh, just struggled all day and really was kind of you know met, had a little messed up knee there so you know proud of him for even going out there and racing because I know that that looked like it hurt so but he had a rough day but uh, man Van ran 15th on the first lap quickly moved up to seventh and then Worked his way up into third and ran third for a couple laps and then just lost it right there on the last lap and ended up fourth. But a uh, good improvement over Florida there. So ups and downs, but it's been fun so far and that's kind of why we're doing it. We're just having fun doing this and we're looking forward to South Carolina here in a couple weeks. Thanks again for watching, guys.